Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nikki. I'm a creative maker and a sewist with the blog Sew Uprising Handmade and now Sew Uprising Handmade Accessories. Today I wanted to stop in and share a quick fabric haul. I've been hoarding some new goodies the last month um, as I get ready to try to sew my stash for all of 2021. Um, and I wanted to share all of the new things I have picked up. I've got quite the stack going on back here. Uh, a little bit of everything, some apparel fabrics um, from the US and Canada, as well as some custom um, inspired prints as well that'll end up becoming bags. So if you love fabric as much as I do and wanna see what else everyone is buying, stay tuned. <laughs> batch of fabrics um, actually came in from Sly Fox Fabrics. I am going to be a part of their sewing summit coming up um, later this month talking all about knits and things like that. So they sent over a few knits that I can use in the class. I'll show them to you first. The first, surprise surprise, more black. This is a black modal. I have two yards here. This is super lightweight, super drapey. We'll open it up for you here so you can get a little sense of the drape I mean it's just it's like liquid it's so good and it's so soft and so cozy I've got two yards in black two yards in white and I am gonna be sewing up the page pico for the sewing summit and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of color blocking on the arms like some athletic stripes um, with the black and the white and I'm really excited about it this is my first time working with their modal um, so I haven't gotten a chance to sew it up yet, but I'm really excited to. I love the way it feels, and especially in a relaxed pattern like the Page Pico, it's going to be so, so comfy. All right, and the second batch of fabrics is from Ohana Fabrics. This is my first time ordering from that company, um, and I really, really like the feel and the weight of the fabric. Um, but I will say I did have some timeline ordering issues. Ohana does custom inspired um, like Disney prints and character prints and because they're custom there's quite a bit of a delay from the time you order um, and with everything that's going on in the world there's been even more delays that were anticipated so I was hoping to get these in time for our trip next week. Um, they just came in yesterday so I might get time to sew them up in the next couple of days before we leave but it's unlikely. But the prints themselves are so cute. I got cotton woven. Again I got two yards of each. This is the first one. How cute is that? Oh, he's upside down. How cute is that? It's all the little kittens from the Aristocats. The Aristocats is one of my favorite Disney movies. Has been, will be forever. I am Marie. She is my spirit. Um, and I love this print. I think it's going to make such a cute bag. Um, I'm trying to figure out like exactly how I want to do it. Just because the print is so busy, I feel like it needs some solids to kind of tone it down a little bit so if you have any suggestions feel free to leave them down there so I got one that's got the little trio all three of them and then because I do love Marie so much I got her on her own as well um, it's really hard to find Aristocats fabric it's surprisingly hard to find um considering how expensive like how popular the movie is but I'm really excited for these like I said these are going to be some bags um, and I'm hoping Hoping, hoping I get them sewn up before our trip next week. I did get a few other Disney prints. These ones are from Purple Dragon Fabrics. And these are actually a restock. I've had these. Purple Dragon is my favorite cotton woven for bags. It is buttery soft. It has amazing drape. I love the way they package. Like, this came all bundled. It's folded so well. This is four yards. Um, this is like a Magic Kingdom After Dark Fantasia type print and I've actually had a bunch of this, sold quite a few bags in it already and needed some more and I love it. Um, I have a couple pieces that I made up for me for our trip next week that I'm excited for as well. So I got that one. Oh, I should keep that over here actually. And then I got the matching coordinate. These are the little Mickey head tosses and I love that they do the coordinates like this. So this kind of this Mickey head um, is kind of a standard design. They do it in a bunch of different colorways to pretty much go with every fabric they have. I wish you guys could feel this. It is so, so buttery soft. So good. So yeah, I'm excited to do some last minute Disney sewing. Um, I do sell a lot of uh, Disney-inspired products as well um, from these custom fabric groups. 
and if you're ever interested feel free to let me know and I can get you some get you the links um yeah all uh, right and then the last batch of fabrics that we have are from blended threads I have recently fallen in love with blended threads um I've known about them for quite a while but just never pulled the trigger to order they are a Canadian company and I am US based so shipping can obviously be quite expensive which I know I sound very privileged saying because everyone else in the rest of the world is like yes but it's so expensive to ship from America agreed it is and it's exp expensive to ship within America too um, but I got their mystery box a few weeks back and loved the fabrics the quality is amazing so when I saw they were doing retails of the geos, which I have seen in their Facebook group um, and just, you know, never bought, I was on there. I was one of the fiends that was on there right at time getting it and I scored a yard each of two different French Terry prints. And I only got a yard because I love these prints, but I feel like they need to be accents in my wardrobe. So maybe like the sleeves of a raglan sweater or something like that versus a whole on garment just because I mostly wear solids or like very <laughs> neutral easy classic prints but these are their geos again this is their French Terry how stinking pretty is that I mean I don't know if you can tell but it's like it's not glittery but it's glitter look oh my gosh and it is so soft it is so smooth there was some in the mystery box um, of their peony print that I've actually already gotten to work up and wears a sweater quite a few times. It's so good. It's so soft, but it's not thick. Again, it's got beautiful, beautiful drape. And I'm sorry. Look at that. That's just freaking gorgeous. And again, it'll be some sort of accents. I'll probably get some blue French terry um, to kind of coordinate with it. So I got that one. And then I got one more of this kind of pinky, pinky kind of print. Right? And this one's got gold glitter kind of sprinkled throughout. I, I am just in love. And I'm not usually a print pattern or a print person. Um, so this is a little outside of my comfort zone. But I think it's going to be so good as accents and things like that. I wanted to try to see if I could get some cotton woven as well. But unfortunately, with the way retail works, there's just not that much. So fingers crossed that there is another reorder um, soon so I can order some more. They actually have a current pre-order open right now for a bunch of different prints. And I uh, may have spent three, $400 on their pre-order, which, yeah, okay, not good. We can acknowledge that, uh, especially as someone who wants to try to sell their stash. But... I'm hoarding now and then like I said 2021 is my plan to sew my stash and get it all gone fingers crossed we'll see how it works so that is all the fabric I have purchased in the last month my little mini fabric haul for 2020 2020 September man this year I just I can never quite keep track of where we are but yeah I'm excited to get to sew some of these up in the next couple of weeks and especially going into fall as it gets colder here um all these French terries and these wovens are gonna be so good mm -hmm.